Goa Beach. And here is the image created for Goa Beach. Hello everyone. Apple ecosystem is a very famous ecosystem. But guess what? In the AI ML world, there is one ecosystem that is gaining a lot of popularity. That is the OpenAI's ML ecosystem. So in today's video, I'll be using OpenAI's Whisper API, ChatGPT API, and DALI API to generate images from voice. I'll walk you through the steps of generating images through OpenAI's powerful AI models. With the introduction out of the way, let's kickstart the video. Let me start by installing some modules that I'll require throughout the entire process. So I'll start by installing Gradio, which will help me create some amazing UIs. I'll also install OpenAI to access OpenAI's model. So I'll quickly go forward and install all the modules. So for this particular example, I'm using Google Colab and I'm using the CPU version. Given that I don't require the high-end models to be deployed in the current session, which is where CPU is sufficient for the task. The installation is done. Now I'll quickly go forward and import the necessary modules. So for this particular activity, I'll require Gradio, I'll require OpenAI and I'll require JSON. So I'll quickly run this cell. The installation is done. The imports are done. The next thing that I require is basically the API key access. So in order to access the amazing OpenAI's model, you will require API key. So you can find that on OpenAI's website itself. Uh, you will have to pay some money in terms of accessing ChatGPT API, Whisper API. The costs are very nominal. So you can go forward and explore that. Just to keep my API key private, I have created a simple JSON file called as gpt underscore secret underscore key dot JSON. This contains my API key. So I'll quickly load the API key into the variable openai dot API underscore key. So let me run the two cells. Now we have the entire skeleton ready. All we have to do is create different functions that kind of access different APIs. So let's start. The first function that I'll take you all through is the chat GPT API function. So I'll quickly unhide the cell. The chat GPT API function expects an input text. In the selected line of code, I've created a simple list called as messages. The messages list is initialized with a default message from the system. This message is just a string that says you are a helpful assistant. If the input underscore text argument, which is something that I pass through this particular function, if that is not empty, a new message is added to the messages list. This new message is a prompt for DALI2 model, which will generate an image based on the input text. The prompt is generated using string formatting to insert the input underscore text argument into the message. In the next line of code, what you see is the chat completion object. The chat completion object is created using the openai.chatcompletion.create method. This method takes two arguments, model which specifies the name of the GPT-3 model that we want to use and messages which is the list of messages generated in step 1 and step 2. The reply variable is set to the content of the first choice in the chat underscore completion object. In this case, there is only one choice, so we just take the content of that particular choice. Finally, the reply variable is returned from the function as the output of the chatbot. So what will come in here is Whisper's transcribed text. This text passes through ChatGPT. The output of the ChatGPT API will basically give you a DALI prompt text. The DALI text prompt, which in our case is chat completion and finally, which is reply will basically be passed through a DALI API function, which will kind of accept that prompt and generate an image out of it. So now let's move on to the DALI API function. This particular code section defines a function called as DALI underscore API that takes in one argument, which is DALI prompt. 
which is a string of text used as an input for OpenAI's DALI API. I'll go line by line here. The function first calls the OpenAI API's image.create method with two arguments, prompt which is set to the value of DALI underscore prompt and the size which is set to 512 cross 512. This method generates an image using DALI based on the provided prompt and returns the response as a JSON object. The function then extracts the URL of the generated image from the response by accessing the URL property of the first item in the data array of the JSON object. This URL is assigned to the image underscore URL variable. Finally, the function returns the image underscore URL variable as the output of the function which represents the URL of the generated image returned by the OpenAI's API. So essentially what happens here is you take an input prompt and you generate an image and you return the URL of the generated image. That is all that this function is basically doing. Now we move on to the audio input section of the code which is where whisper underscore transcribe function comes in. So this particular section of code defines a function called as whisper underscore transcribe that takes in one argument that is audio. Audio is a string representing the file part to the audio file that has to be transcribed. The function first opens the audio file using the open method with the rb mode and assigns it to the variable audio file. Next, the function calls the OpenAI API's audio.transcribe method with the two arguments whisper1 which is the id of the model that we have to use for transcription and the audio file which is binary file data of the audio file. This method transcribes the audio file using the selected model and returns the response as a JSON object which is assigned to the transcript variable. The function then calls the chat GPT underscore API function with the text value of the transcript object as an input. This function generates a chat message prompt based on the transcribed text using OpenAI's GPT model and returns a string representation of the generated message prompt which is later assigned to the DALI underscore prompt variable. Finally, the function calls the DALI underscore API function with the DALI underscore prompt variable as the input. The function generates an image based on the provided DALI prompt and returns the URL of the generated image which is assigned to the image underscore URL variable. Finally, the function returns a tuple containing the actual transcribed text and the image URL that is generated from DALI's output. So we've gone through the function. I haven't imported any of the functions, so I'll quickly import all of them in memory. Now we've reached the final stage of our output wherein we'll create an interface using Gradio. So I define two variables output underscore one and output underscore two. The first output will correspond to the text generated by the whisper model which is where I've given it a label speech to text. The second output will correspond to the image generated by the DALI model. So I'll quickly run this cell. Finally, in this piece of code is where I define the Gradio interface. I call the function whisper underscore transcribe which will later call the chat GPT API as well as the DALI function. I define the set of inputs which in our case would be the audio that we kind of input through the microphone. I go forward and define the outputs. And finally, I give a title to the entire web interface which is generate images using voice. So what I'll do next is I'll quickly run this cell. So I'll quickly launch this interface. So the interface is up and running. Let me start recording something. Goa Beach. Let's go forward and press submit. So here it's able to identify the text, so which is Goa Beach. And here is the image created for Goa Beach. Let me try out something different now. So I'll quickly clear this. Gateway of India. So here is the text that is generated which is Gateway of India. And here is an amazing photograph of Gateway of India. 
let me try out one more prompt i'm kind of enjoying the entire process so i'll quickly clear this uttarakhand so here it's able to create mountains and here it says uttarakhand so overall the entire ecosystem is working perfectly fine it's quick it's able to understand what i'm speaking using whisper and it's able to generate a corresponding image using dali the prompt for dali is generated by chat gpt api so all the apis are working together to create this amazing solution isn't this amazing so this is all that i had in today's video i hope you enjoyed today's video if you do like the content that i create on data science machine learning open ai based solutions then it would be really motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning thank you so much for watching the video